Hi guys, so I don't know if some of you remember uh, that little Chrome giveaway contest they had a while back. Well, this guy happened to win, and so I just want to give him a shout out to uh, Robert Warren, who actually nominated me for the website uh, under the YouTuber category, and uh, finally uh, today I received the package in the mail via FedEx. So uh, let's go, alright, let's just open it up here and uh, see what we got. <clears throat> keys. I have a knife on me handy, so. Yeah, I got my little spec sheet and uh, whatever else, so. Oh, packing slip. Okay. Well, we're getting down to it. I got the styrofoam here. Throw it somewhere. Throw the other one somewhere. Now we have a little, looks like a little time capsule or a little tiny briefcase. Uh, okay, we have a pull tab here we can open. Yeah, this is just basic styrofoam on the outside here. With, I don't know if you can see that, but Google is engraved in it. <laughs> And I've never really done an unboxing video, but before. So this is the first for me, but I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is, uh, basically I already know what to expect. This is a, uh, your basic bare bones <coughs> computer in my view. Um, a lot of people are, 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 are enjoying these right now. Um, so this is... This is it right here. This is the actual Chromebook itself. So, it's now it's super thin. It's super light. Um, the specs aren't all that great, uh, but I think for what it is, it's, it can do you know your basic functions pretty well. Um, this is running the Chrome operating system, so very thin, very light, very sleek, uh, and it looks nice. I mean. It doesn't. I, like, some of the reviews that I read, it said it felt cheap, but it doesn't doesn't feel you know too cheap. It's got some uh, it's got some firmness and some thickness, a little bit of thickness to it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's basically uh, you know a dual core <clears throat> processor. I think it's an Exynos. Well, let me check my sheet here. Yeah, it's an Exynos processor. Yep, dual core, 1.7 gigahertz, <clears throat> um, 2.3 pounds, in which. You know, as you can imagine, 2.3 pounds is pretty light. So, uh, two gigabytes of DDR3 memory, uh, which is going to be sufficient because a lot of uh, what you're going to be doing with the Chromebook is uh, going to be online. Uh, you're going to be losing a lot of um, Google services with this. Um, so, and this, and uh, uh, see a 16 gigabyte solid state drive, which <clears throat> is perfectly fine because again, Google wants you to um, use their uh, drive storage service. So. Um, and, it, and it does come with, uh, I believe it comes with uh, 100 gigabytes of free uh, online storage for Drive with the Chromebook from HP. Uh, I don't know if other models are, are doing that right now, but um, you can get these. I won this, but you can get these for about $280 at Amazon.com right now, which is a, which is a fair price. Um, you can get a, it's a decent computer for, <clears throat> you know, a low price. Uh, good for students, good for... Uh, you know, uh, even younger students, like elementary students, uh, you know, just starting out learning computers because, you know, you don't need a full-fledged decked out computer to learn them, so. Um, and the inside of the case here comes with uh, uh, just some simple instructions, uh, very Google-esque, like, here's the little sh get started sheet, uh, you can see there, you know, very simple. Uh, and it shows all some of the Google services on the back, kind of like what you uh, get on your Android phone. Of course, this is Chrome OS, so it's a little bit different. Um, so that's this is basically the packaging. It comes with your comes with a charger, and that's about it. Uh, I guess the next step, I guess, is to fire it up and give it a review. I guess. All right, I'll end it there, and I hope you enjoyed my. Chrome unboxing. Let's show it off a little bit more one more time. 
uh, you can see that it does have uh, two USB ports here. Um, you got your uh, headphone jack, and you have a. Uh, I believe that's the power. Yes, that's the last jack is the power. So that's basically it, and it's got uh, on the back. This is a apparently it's a red model, a red version of it. Um, that's really the only red besides this uh, right here, uh, around here. The keyboard is very nice. Feels very nice to type with. Um, you know, I, I, I could see I, I could see getting a lot of work done on this actually because I, I spend a lot of I spend a lot of time myself in in Drive and Google Docs um, through my as part of my school. Uh, it's a lot easier to collaborate with Docs um, in Drive and stuff like that. And <clears throat> um, a lot of students now are using a lot of Google services um, simply because it's free and um, simple and you can get things done very quickly and efficiently and so now I've got it plugged in and now you can see kind of how it stacks up uh, this is <laughs> next to my uh, HP monitor um, which is a I believe it's a 22 inch screen so yeah Chromebook's quite small very uh, compact very mobile uh, type device so we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on and let's see what happens I just hit the power button very quick on uh, you can't really hear it <clears throat> doing anything okay and it's got your basic uh, setup screen here okay so now we are in the basic setup of the Chromebook and let's see basically uh, it just gives you a welcome thing you can click explore here and it kind of goes through and tells you uh, some things you can do it tells you it has a welcoming thing and uh, some stuff for your goodies like activate your free Google Drive storage which um, I'm pretty much looking forward to that you get free two free years of storage <clears throat> 100 gigabytes I do believe but um, for now I'm just gonna put this over here and then, uh, basically this is your basic setup and you have all your icons it's much like an Android um, an Android phone and you have your apps um, I don't know if any of you have this on your your Windows desktop. Um, this little app thing um, that basically has <clears throat> is a gateway to all of your Google Plus or your Google apps. Um, I have it on my computer, and it looks exactly the same as that. Um, but basically, you're going to be in Chrome itself. I open up Chrome, and apparently it's just one click. Now the screen, uh, you can't really tell, but the screen is really nice. It looks really sharp and um, uh, really focused. This is in contrast to my um, Lenovo laptop that's, that's a couple years old now. Um, this screen is definitely really sharp. It's not, not as sharp as the Chromebook Pixels, but um, this is definitely definitely something I would, I would enjoy spending time with. So, um, yeah, basically, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this particular laptop. Um, I think, essentially, for me, since I, I do need kind of a little bit more power that than this on my day-to-day -day computing, it's a lot of stuff I do, like video editing, audio editing, um, stuff like that, but I think this would make a great uh, Google Plus notebook. I can just kind of set it off to the side and... Just have Google Plus open so I can, you know, chat with my peeps and share stuff. You know, do that Google Plus thing that we do. Um, so, <laughs> or, or, the other thought was I was going to give it to my wife. Um, she doesn't have a, a mobile computer right now, so it would be, I think, a nice gift to her. I think she would enjoy this. It's, it's very nice. Um, and I think perfectly acceptable for the things that she would do on it. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. I, I do give my, my thumbs up on this Chromebook um, as a techie. Uh, you know, uh, we're, we're in a transitional phase. Uh, we don't necessarily need so much onboard power and stuff. Well, most of us don't. Like, your casual users really don't. Um, 
And this is a nice supplement to uh, your computers that you have already. So you've, if you have a laptop in your house, you have a desktop, you have your phone, um, you have your tablet, um, this thing uh, could actually come in handy. You could really get some work done with this. Um, and a nice mobile thing to have. Okay, so that's going to do it for my unboxing and review of the Chromebook 11. You can follow me on Google Plus by, I'll leave a link to my profile below. You can also subscribe, like, and share this video if you'd like. Uh, my YouTube channel, I am a vlogger, so you can follow along with me with my adventures there. I do plan on doing some more tech videos in the future uh, as part of my studies through Penn State World Campus. All right, and may the plus be with you.